one of the most important things you'll learn as a Christian, beside making Jesus the Lord and Savior of your life, one of the most important things that you will ever do is acquaint yourself with the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's one of the most important things you'll ever do. Because your success in life, your victory in life, is going to be dependent upon your ability to follow the Holy Spirit. One of the benefits of praying in the Spirit is direct communication with God. He that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself. This word for edify means build up. Build up. And so many times the enemy's trying to tear us down. One of the greatest things that Christians deal with, I feel so worn out, I feel so torn down. And child of God, God's given us a remedy for this. Because the enemy's trying to break your spirit. Trying to break your spirit. You go through a broken relationship, or someone disappoints you, or a job shuts down, or a sickness attacks your body, the enemy's trying to break your spirit. You don't want to wait until something happens and try to build your spirit up. You want to do that right now, and one of the ways you do that is praying in the Holy Ghost, man. All the hell you're going through, all the challenges you're going through, all of the setbacks you're dealing with, some of you are at the brink of wanting to give up because it looks like it's not working. And I'm giving you clear-cut instruction that if you'll simply pray in the Spirit, God will lift you up and hold you up so that you don't have to fall apart. You don't have to fall apart. You're going to go through things. You're going to go through difficulty. You're going to go through affliction. But I'm here to tell you, you can walk through it and not get stuck in it. I can go forward because the Holy Spirit will build me up if I pray in the Holy Ghost. You can get through this. You can get through this. It was an event. It was a moment. That is not going to define your life. That is not the parameters that are going to hold you in. You have to break loose from that and say, I'm going to walk in the Spirit and I'm going to strengthen my spirit because I can get through this. I can get through this. Stop believing the lie. Sure it happened. Sure it hurt you. Sure it broke your heart. But I'm so glad I know who holds the pieces. He holds the pieces. He holds the key to your life. But you've got to do something. You can't, you can't skip out on stuff and not pray. And you can't just be religious. You've got to live this thing, man. You determine that I'm going to feed on the Word of God. I'm going to strengthen my spirit. I'm going to renew my mind. And I'm going to come out on the other side. That's what you have to determine on the inside of you. If I have to go by myself, I'm going to still get there.